Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? It's Kathy Vidal, mystampinspot.com, with my 10-minute Tuesday. I am an hour late. I apologize. I um, had an unexpected visitor drop by, and I just couldn't be that rude. So, I thought we would make this the celebration um, edition. I love this Sunshine and Rainbows DSP, and I am trying to use it up. So we're going to use that. We're going to use Driving By, which I have not yet inked. But we are going to start with a piece of basic white, scored at four and a quarter. Cut at five and a half. Gives me two card bases. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put one to the side. I'm going to hang on to my cutter. I love this paper. Um, so a normal uh, next layer would be uh, four by five and a quarter. Be four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut two pieces of paper at four by five and a quarter. I'm going to pick two different pieces. Let's see. I don't know. What colors do we like? I just love this pattern. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Where's my polka dots? I also love my polka dots. Hey, KB. Driving by. <laughs> Haven't missed you yet. Okay. Let's try... Hmm. I don't know that that goes with that. Maybe if the piece is small enough. Maybe we need... Yeah, maybe we'll try that. Okay. So I'm going to cut two pieces at four by five and a quarter. Whoops. I'm going to cut them both at the same time to save me a little time. Now you've probably seen this technique. It's pretty popular. I'm really not sure what it's called, but it's kind of piecing together your layer. So, I am going to take this and I am going to cut one inch down the side. Hey, Karen. Hi, Gay. How are you? Oh, I'll try to be quiet, Gay. <laughs> All right, one inch down the bottom. We could have gone wider. We could have done one and a half. But I think I'm going to do one inch down the bottom and I think I'm going to do two inches across the top. Nothing like snuggles. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pieces. So I want one of each piece, basically, like this. And we're going to flip it like that. Now, I could do it with the bigger piece on the bottom. Let's see how that looks. Let me remove this first. So, I could do, ooh, now that would be a pattern too, wouldn't it? Although I just love this. I love that, let me get rid of that. And let's see. Like that, we could do like that. Or maybe like that. Or we could do. I seem to be missing. Oh no, here we go. Like that. I think. I think. I'm going to put my bigger pieces on top and my smaller pieces on the bottom and I am going to go with that. And that is super busy, but it will look cute when all is said and done. So we're going to piece this together onto the card base. That was a long thought process there, wasn't it? You'd think I was like making a life or death decision there. There's really no right way or wrong way. I could have done this in a colored background as well. It would have been cute. Or I could have even done it um, on layers. 
like this pretty, I think that's, um, what is that pink called? Who remembers? I have this slip right here. That pink is Mango Melody. No, that's Mango Melody. Magenta Madness. I could have done a Magenta Madness with a white border or a Magenta Madness border on a white card base. But that's what we're going with. Okay, now I'm going to take my driving by. And um, this seems to be my new favorite punch. And I have not used this, but I'm hoping, above all hopes, that this is going to fit in that section. Now, I need to make a decision. <clears throat> do I want stays on or do I want memento? The difference will be what I decide to color it with. I'm going to make my little van the pool party color. I don't know if I want to use an aqua painter or blends. Um, I think I will do, let's see. I think I'll do Magenta Madness, yes. Um, well, you know what, Karen? I didn't bring all my blends over. When I said blends, what I really meant was um, my blending pens, my blender pens. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to work with those. So in that case, I am going to want to use Stays On. Boy, I, I seem to be having trouble with decisions today, don't I? I think my mind's in other places today, or something. Now, I am going to hope that this fits my punch. Oh, I need more ink. Yep, I really need to re-ink that. So, you're going to get a lesson in re-inking. So, I have my stays on refill. And I'm just going to go back and forth. Do you see how fast it's sucking in the ink? See how fast it's absorbing in? Now, when you re-ink, you want to be careful to stamp on scrap paper. So I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to stamp over here a few times. And this is just to work the ink in, just a little bit. Oh, I didn't get a good print. There we go. Much better. All right. There's your lesson on re-inking. All right. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, yes. It's going to be tight, but it's going to work. I'm going to leave it on here while I color. All right. I'm going to start with the pool party. This is called burping your ink pad. Press it together. You also can put a little e uh, refill drop on it. See how I get a whole bunch of ink there? I'm going to sit down. Uh, you are still swimming than me. <laughs> Thanks, KB. So if you comment in the next minute, I won't see it. Just so you know, if I don't answer you. Don't be offended. So I'm just going to pick up some color. And I am going to start off to the side a little. And let's see. Where do I want it darker? I'm going to highlight these darker first. Like this. And then I'll come back in lighter here. Like this. It's so quiet around here today. How's everybody's day going? Now, <clears throat> I have to admit, I haven't used blending brushes in quite the while. The same methods used with the blends you would also use with blending brushes. See how I'm highlighting where I think the light might be more reflective? Let's see. Like this on each panel and then bring it in in color. Yeah. Oh, I went too dark there. Oh well. And then I'm going to come in here, color around this window. Maybe 
that has a darker stripe. How about that? I'm going to do that darker to offset it more. Okay, I'm going to come in here and bring a little color over here. I want it kind of to look like the light is shining a little bit. Like that. There we go. Okay, now all you have to clean it, all you have to do is go like that. I am going to pull, let's see, I'm going to pull gray granite for my tires. I'm going to close up this uh, pool party color. And I'll just come in here, color in my tires. I want to make the centers a little lighter. Like that. And then the last color I am going to do is, um, let's see, how about, how about we take daffodil? I'm going to clean this good. And I'm just going to add a little shading to the windows. I'm not going to make them totally yellow. I'm trying to get a little ink on there by squeezing this. Again, if you don't want to squeeze quite so hard, you can... Um... I'm having trouble talking and walking at the same time today. You can get your ink refills. There we go. I'm just bringing a little color in there. Now, you do have to be careful because these brushes are great, but they're almost like a aqua painter in that if you go over the same section over and over again, um, you can, like, pill the paper. So you just have to be careful of that. The liquid in these pens can actually peel the paper a little. All right, I cleaned that up. I'm gonna, oh, look what I did. Shoot, look at that. Look at, I experimented around the sides of it. Look what I did. Oh, boy. Well, okay, watch what we're going to do. I'm going to punch a plain shape, flip it upside down, and we are going to paper trim this little bus. Everything has a fix, girls. Everything has a fix. See what I did? I I should have been able to punch all white here, and I was experimenting with the colors a little too quickly. So my 10-minute Tuesday is going to turn into a, I don't know, 15-minute Tuesday now. So I'm just going to go around, make a little... This is a really cute set. So this set is available for free if you spend $50. Remember, celebration only goes another week. If your wish list is really long, you might want to consider joining Team DSP. In fact, we have a meeting this Saturday. We'll be working on a class together, having lunch together. Um, and even some of my not local girls have sent swaps. Um, we make card swaps. Okay, so I just need a couple dimensionals, and I'm going to pop it on the back of this. I'm not even going to add any ribbon to this. Yay, gay, gay's on my team. Um, ah, look what I did. I put the dimensionals on the wrong side. Girls, don't be like Kathy. Put a little brain power into your life. <laughs> Honest to goodness. Honest to goodness. Okay, I'm going to put this with a for me like that. You could do a ribbon. Like I said, I'm choosing not to. And I am going to put this little guy up on some little dimensionals. Like that. And I think what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to bring this blender pen in and just <clears throat> ground that card just a little bit, just ever so much. Like that. Just so he's not kind of floating in air. Like so. And then we need a greeting. So I am thinking just a little strip. How about you've got style? I like that. In fact, I'm going to stamp it first so that if it's crooked, it makes it. You've got style. That reminds me of that 80s movie, You've Got Mail. Was that 80s or 90s? Let's see. What does this say here? You've got style. Quiet day today. Oh, nice smokes. All right, where's my block? Where is my block? When you don't find your block, you go grab a different block. Okay. Let's see how straight this is. This is how I practice straight. I look at the bottom of a paper, like this, and I move it up and see if it's straight. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay. So. Well, now that one's crooked. I'm going to use that one. So here's what I'm going to do. I am first going to slice this. <clears throat> this is not going to be any specific dimension. This is going to just be, I mean, it'll probably wind up about a half inch. Let's see. Yeah, that's about a half inch. We're going to cut that out like that. And I'm not even going to banner cut. I'm just going to snip the sides like that. And again, add a couple more dimensionals. And then if you've seen me at all this week, you'll know adhesive-backed sequins are high on my list. Put that like that. And I'm going to add a couple of these sequins because they're kind of groovy. They kind of remind me of the 19... 60s or 70s. Let's see. They're all different colors. I guess I'll just pick some different ones and just kind of scatter them randomly. Like that. Maybe one over here. Maybe I'll add a pool party one over there. What do you think? Pretty quick and easy, especially considering I made some mistakes along the way. At least you know I don't plan it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, one last pitch. Remember, if you would like to join Team DSP, it's $99. You can pick out $125 of your favorite items. They ship to you free. And during celebration, you can grab two extra stamp sets of your choice. Any stamp set you like. Good deal. And you'll be invited to the team meeting. If you spend $35 with that host code, you will get all the kits, all card kits to make these four cards. Um, you do not need the stamp set, although I did use the words. You don't need them. Everything's die cut and ready to go. This is all embossed, everything. So $35 with that host code. This is the palm bundle, if you were wondering. There's my 10 Minute Tuesday card. We'll see you all for Thankful Thursday. Bye, you guys. Thanks for joining in.